Tawadin game, Kampo Klatu and Fasu. Comic books continue to drop in prices. When will it rebound? Well, welcome to the top 10 high CGZ comic books sold for the week of August 27th to September 2nd. Comic number 10, we have uh, four joining into mystery, issue 85. CGZ Sun 1.0, this one came out in 1962. For its opinion, the low key. Uh, the original price was, uh, the original asking price $9,600. You got for $8,700 uh, with free shipping. Low key is uh season two is coming up soon though. I'll I'll be watching that. So let's go over to Heritage. Uh it will Heritage. This book store was high as nine down dollar. So that is a drop of three hundred dollars compared to September twenty sixth to twenty twenty one. And then in July of twenty twenty three, this one sold for six thousand six hundred. So you compare to July, um the book will increase in price. But compared to twenty twenty one, the book will have decreased in price. Coming number 9, Fantastic Four Issue 1, CC 3.0, first appearance of Fantastic Four. This one has a final auction price of 9 down 250 with 37 bits. Uh, the question is, when will the comic rebound? I could talk to the collector. He thinks maybe February, March for the tax season, but I actually think it'll be a little longer than that, though. I think it'll be like sometime in 2025 when the comic book will go back in price. Please comment, comment below. Let me know what you think, though. Let's go over to Heritage. Over Heritage. This one sold as high as seventeen thousand four hundred, so that is a drop of eight thousand one hundred fifty. And this one was sold in June of twenty twenty two, so let's go across. And the next highest one was in October of twenty twenty two of sixteen thousand two hundred. Let's zoom out a little bit. Coming number eight, Fantastic Four issue five. First appearance in Origin of Doctor Doom. This is graded CC four point five. This is also a signature series. It's a yellow label. And signed by Stanley. This one have an auction price of nine thousand two hundred seventy dollars seventy eight cents, twenty three bits. Let's go with the Heritage. Uh, Heritage. I couldn't find anything that was sold though, but there is a blue label, and this one sold for sixteen thousand eight hundred back in May of uh, twenty twenty one, and also in July of uh, twenty twenty two twelve thousand six hundred. So. Can't really compare these two books, but just give you an idea what the blue label was sold for. Coming number seven, Startling Telltale Issue 11, prequel horror, rare black logo variant. Season 4.5, you zoom in, this is actually a conserved gray, and only one of, only three black logos are marked in the last 25 years. So this one sold for $9,499, so let's go over to Heritage. Unfortunately, uh, these, there's not too many of these books available on sale. Uh, there is a 4.0 that sold recently. Uh, this one sold in August 13, 2023. So we turned out 800. This is a 4.0, and this is a blue label. Uh, so use this image however you like. I know you can't compare these two books because they're not totally the same, but I thought I'd show this to you anyway. Coming number six. Giant Side X-Men issue 1, this one came out in 1975, CC 9.6, Second Wolverine for its Nightcrawler, and it's a yellow label, it's Signature Series, Chris Claim on Signature Series. Um, unfortunately, only one put bid on it, so congratulations to the buyer. You got it for uh, $12,999. So let's go over to uh, Go Collect. So go Collect uh, 9.6. Let's go down here. Unfortunately, there haven't been any. Um, there's only been one sale, uh, and if you scroll down here, there was one in Golden back in February 24th, so it's been almost a year and a half, though. So the one year average, $12,999. Coming number five, Amazing Fantasy 15, CGC 2.0 for Spider-Man. Uh, this one has, then once again, only one person bid on this. Um, so this the buy got it for fifteen thousand dollars, which is a great deal though, considering what these books were selling for. So let's go over to go collect, go collect right here. Uh, so this one so as high as thirty eight thousand four hundred. So that is a drop of twenty three thousand four hundred though compared to its highest. And so these are the ones that was on eBay, the low for the last year. And the fair market value is nineteen thousand five. So you got yourself a great deal. So let's go over here. 
Uh, so this one that, that was just on eBay and then in last month there was two on Heritage so, so let's go ahead and take over Heritage and these are, one, these are two that was on uh, Heritage uh, one sold for um, 20400 back in August 21st and the other one sold for 20600 back in August 7th so yeah, for fifteen thousand um, dollars, the buy got the, themselves a really great deal there, considering what they sold on Heritage. Coming number four, Uncanny X Men One. This one came out in nineteen sixty three, season six point five. First issue of the with Magneto, Professor X, and what? Yeah, make sure you look at the picture though, because if you look at the picture, it's actually a restored label though. So, so I guess the the seller did a good job though. They did not want to disclose restore of the purple label. So, I mean, whoever bid on it, you know, didn't want to pay too much attention. You got a, a purple label and bought it for $15,000. To me, that's way over, way over price, though, for this book. So, let's go over to Heritage. Uh, so, in Heritage, uh, we have one right here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so, 6.5, purple label. This one was sold in August, uh, about a year ago, 2022, for $5,760. So based on this number, uh, this book have increased nine down to forty, and so let me just click on to um, one of the most recent sold price of a six point five there. So most recent sold price so the most recent sold price of six point five is eighteen thousand dollars. So if you're gonna be spending fifteen thousand dollars on a purple label. You might as well dish out a net of even more thousand dollars to get a blue label. To me. Um, the purple label should have been maybe nine thousand dollars, something like that, though, on eBay. So he, uh, the buyer definitely overpaid. Coming number three, Tales of Spans issue thirty nine, Origin first appearance of Iron Man, CZ six point five. This one has a final auction price of fifteen thousand nine hundred eighty eight dollars with forty bits. So let's go over to Heritage. So over Heritage, we have one. That sold for thirty three thousand six hundred, so that is a drop of seventeen thousand six hundred twelve, and this one was sold back in April, uh, twenty twenty two, and a couple of days earlier, uh, we have another one, uh, April fourth sold for thirty two thousand four hundred, so definitely uh lost more than half the value. Coming number two, X Men one and uh, CC six point oh, this one have off white pages. Uh, this um this another one book that one have one person bidding on it. So congratulations to the buyer. You got it for sixteen thousand one hundred ninety one dollars twenty four cents. So let's go over to uh come then you have to pay sixty four seventy seven coming from Australia. Let's go over to go collect. Go collect right here six point oh, and this book sold as high as forty thousand dollars. So that is a drop of twenty three thousand eight hundred eight dollars seventy six cents. Lost more than half the value, and you look go across. Uh, twenty one year average twenty thousand one hundred eight, nine nine day average sixty nine one hundred four. So I mean, fair market value seems to be a little high, but then again, this is gold collect, so the number is not that accurate for, for the fair market value. Come number one, Ultimate Fallout issue four, season nine point eight. Not only uh, issue four, but you're also getting uh, issue one, two, three, five, and six RCC graded. Uh, this one has a uh, final. So price of thirty three dollars six hundred sixty dollars sixty seven cents. So let's go over to the the listing here. So you this is the nine point eight, and those other books you get uh you get nine point eight nine point six nine point six nine point six nine point six and the uh, the big one is the nine point eight issue four. So this other one probably have too much of a value as the uh, issue four though. So let's go over to uh go um heritage. So heritage. Um, I know we can't even compare the two though, because uh, you're always getting the issue one, two, three, five, and six. But we'll just compare it to issue four though. So this one, so it's high is forty three thousand two hundred. So that is a drop of nine thousand nine hundred thirty nine dollars and thirty three cents compared to January. And then this is uh, we have another one in June of twenty twenty two forty thousand eight hundred. And then we have another one back in March. Oh, thirty three down six hundred. So, yeah, based on these numbers, uh, obviously, you know, you're getting a good deal. I mean, but will the comic book mark continue to drop? Uh, please comment below and let me know. Um, what do you think? 
And thank you for watching. Bye. I'll see you next week.